Hi Aquarius, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction Tarot reading for the month of June 2016. Keep in mind this is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. You can always check out your moon and your rising sign for more insights. And if you need even more insights, I also offer personalized readings. You can check out my website below. And this is also for anyone that desires to use the law of attraction in their life. So without further ado, let's get started with your reading. Okay, Aquarius, so as far as what you're desiring for the month of June, we have the Six of Wands, and this represents the reward. So, and I've been getting this for your sign last month as well. Aquarius, you're ready for a breakthrough. <laughs> I cannot say this enough. You're ready. You're ready to get your reward, and I don't blame you you've done a lot of work. And so, um, this is an encouraging card though, Aquarius, because even though it's a six and he, he is reaping his reward. It's like the, your success is literally like right around the corner and you know that it is, but there's a part of you that's doubting that it is, but you're ready for it, okay? And so this is all about reaping your reward. And so for the month of June, I feel that a lot of you are going to start reaping your reward. And so that's, that's exciting. What this card talks about is that the realization of your dreams or your plans is going to occur when you're least expecting it. When you're least expecting it. And it's also letting you know that you might need to examine your plans or your intentions up close to see if something needs to be tweaked or reconstructed, meaning your success is so close you can taste it. But as, you know, I was just talking about in a different um, reading. Sometimes it's just a little tweak. It's just something's a little off. And if you would just do that one little thing, you know, success would be yours. And so this card talks about like success is coming to you. Your reward is finally coming, but you also have to be adaptable and open to if there does have to be a tweak or if there does have to be a little change, you know, to be open, to have your ears open, your eyes open so that you can see what that is. And it could be small. Um, you're, you know, some of you are wondering if, if your hard work and your efforts are ever going to pay off. And the universe is saying, yes, absolutely. They will, you will, you are going to, I mean, this guy, he's done a bunch of work and he's going to reap that harvest. And this is a fire sign. So these are, these are actions that are going to come to you. You're going to get positive actions back into your life. You've re you're going to reap positive situations in your life. And it's going to be when you're not looking, it's going to be when you just let go, don't expect it. You know, you're probably still going to be doing your work. It's going to be like another day where you, you know, you're doing your, your routine and all of a sudden, bam, you're going to get a reward. So, so that's exciting. Um, the other thing about this card is it talks about other people acknowledging your accomplishments and that, and you know, Aquarius, I know that you're a humanitarian. I know that you care about others. I know you care about your friends. People are going to recognize you. People are going to notice. People are going to see your hard work and you are going to get credit for that. So really what you're desiring is your reward. You're like ready for it. And, um, you know, I would just say a little more patience is needed, letting go of expectation of when and how and what that looks like, but just being confident and assured and knowing you're going to get it. Like there's a law of the universe. You reap what you sow and you have sown a lot of good seeds and you are going to reap it. And in the month of June, just be looking, there might just be one or two more little tweaks that are necessary to bring in that, that harvest and, uh, and just keep doing the work and your harvest is assured to come in. 
what you're uh, currently valuing or what you're identifying with. We have the Queen of Swords. Uh, so this makes sense. Um, the Queen of Swords is, is an air sign and she's sharp, let me tell you. You don't want to mess with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> you don't want to get in an argument with the Queen of Swords any day. The Queen of Swords knows her stuff and this could be male or female. The Queen of Swords is sharp, intellect. Um, th but this could also be... <sighs> This could also be someone that really speaks their mind and could almost be a little blunt, could almost be sharp with their words. So there might be in the month of June, there might be some conversations that are had. You might be attracted to other air signs, Aquarius, Gemini's, or Libra's. This, this card also talks about rivalries. So there might be a little competition. Maybe some of you are feeling competitive with another air sign. Um, it could be a female, but it doesn't have to be a female. But basically I feel like there's a arguments about who's right or what's right. And the queen of sword is not going to back off. The queen of swords knows her stuff. She knows her facts. She knows her logic and you really can't beat her in an argument. So a lot of you are identifying with this, and I'm not really sure in what way that is for you, uh, but this is also a competitive card. So some of you are feeling competitive, maybe a little feisty, maybe kind of ready to have a conversation with someone, and you're not afraid to, to have a debate, really. Uh, this is just also about being cautious with who you're sharing information with and knowing that you have some very perceptive energies around you that are also, you might have some people that are like your equal or your rival almost in the month of June where you feel someone is kind of similar to your energy. And so there's a little bit of rivalry because I mean, obviously this card, it's like these two ladies are going back and forth, but they have like equal strength. So the queen of swords knows her stuff but you might be having a debate or a conversation, or maybe you have a best friend or just someone that you're kind of competitive with. It doesn't have to necessarily be a bad thing. It's just that you like words, you like information, you like facts and knowledge, and you're willing to use it. So some of you are identifying with this. Obviously the con side or the negative side would just be being too sharp with your words, um, being kind of gossipy or getting involved in gossip. Um, but as far as being perceptive, someone that speaks their mind and just someone able to just slay with their, <laughs> with their words, you're really identifying with this. I don't know. I feel like Aquarius this month, you don't want to mess with them. You don't want to mess with Aquarius this month because they are razor sharp. They know what they're talking about and they're kind of feisty. And it's probably, honestly, it's probably because you're just tired. You're just freaking, you've had it, you've had enough waiting for your reward and you're probably just like over it, <laughs> honestly. Um, as far as what the challenge is, it kind of actually relates to that energy. We have the emperor and the emperor is, it, it kind of relates to that because the emperor is all about rationality, logic, reason, it's the male side. It's like the left brain. It's like, there's no emotion to this guy. He literally could care less about how you're feeling. It's very like, this is what, this is what I'm about. This is what I'm doing. And so I feel like the challenge for the Aquarius is I feel like you're burnt out Aquarius. I really do. Like, I feel like you're burnt out, just frustrated. And you probably don't have a lot of extra like compassion or emotion to give people that are needy or whatever. So I feel like, the, I mean, this could be a couple of different ways. So one challenge is going to be just being in your rational mind too much, like being in your thoughts and your, your, your mental side too much. That could be the challenge. This could also be as far as a potential obstacle, it could be a fire sign or just a male energy that is very stubborn because this guy will not move. He does not move off of his block. He doesn't care how long he has to sit there. He'll sit there his whole life. He's not going to budge. So this could be like a sign of like almost stubbornness or just a refusal to see something a different way. Um, the emperor does what he wants. He believes what he wants and you're not going to convince him otherwise. So this could be someone in your life. This, maybe this is the rival that some of you are kind of dealing with this month. 
is this energy where they're just not going to budge. And it's like, a, it's like a battle of the wills. It's a battle of the minds. It's a battle of the intellect. And so that's going to be your battle, whether that's within yourself or with someone else. It could be a male or it could just be the energy of the rational mind and not being willing to be flexible is what I'm getting. Um, okay, so as far as the action to take, we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is a real interesting character. Um, Aquarius, I feel like you're in a, some of you are in an interesting situation. This isn't going to apply to all of you. But the Page of Swords is actually the Watchman or the Observer. So I feel like what you're supposed to do, whatever energies you're surrounded by, because I feel like you're surrounded by some interesting people this month, the month of June. I feel like you're meant to be an Observer. So... You know, someone might be trying to, you know, get feisty with you. And the best action you can take is to be the quiet watchman, to observe the people around you, to observe how they're reacting. Uh, to, you know, as you can see, this guy, he's got his rope and he's watching his prey. I mean, you don't want to think of people like prey, but he's literally, he's not talking, he's not acting, he's just observing, he's watching this guy, he's planning his next move. So you're in a time to speculate, to observe, to calculate, kind of stepping back. This is a time, this is a month for you to think quickly and to take a lot of information in, but not to speak unnecessarily because this guy doesn't really tell you what he's thinking it's like, you don't really know what this guy's thinking. He could be thinking all kinds of things, but don't, don't get it twisted. He is thinking, he is planning, he is calculating his next move, but he's just not going to tell you what it is. Because I feel like for some of you, Aquarius, like there's some other energies, there's some competition, there's some rivals, or there's some stubborn people or energies around you that it's like, it's not going to be fruitful to go head to head with them. And so the action to take is to more step back and watch and observe and definitely be thinking it's not like you don't use your mind but you don't speak unless it's necessary and that this might be a month where you need to be a little more secretive you need to keep more things to yourself because otherwise it could just cause trouble you know it could be taken the wrong way um I feel like for some of you in relationship, it's just a time to kind of like hold back, hold back the reins and, and just let whatever, if there's someone trying to create conflict or battle, a battle of the minds or the intellect to not give in to that. And that kind of makes sense because the attitude to have with others is the seven of cups. So this is like completely contrary to the emperor. The emperor is like, masculine, rational, logical, stubborn, not moving. And then the seven of cups is like feminine, intuitive, inspirational, creative, feelings, heart. And uh, this is where, this is the attitude you're supposed to have. And, you know, maybe going to the ocean or being around some water will help you, will soften your energies because I feel like the energies have been kind of harsh for you. And so maybe you'll need a little extra pampering this month, you know, a massage or a facial or just something to soften your energies. Because I feel like in order to have this attitude of the seven of cups, it's like, you need to nurture your emotions. You need to nurture your feelings. And, and this is also a sign of creativity and imagination. So it's almost like just have fun this month, Aquarius, like do things that have fun, find the childlike spirit in yourself. You know, maybe like go to the park and blow bubbles or like go roller skating or play with Play-Doh. I don't know, but I'm just saying that whatever's going to get your creative juices flowing, your imagination and your, those positive feelings of creativity and inspiration, that's where you're meant to be headed. You're meant to be in your heart, Aquarius. You're meant to be in your, your heart right now. Your, your head and your logic is, is very strong already naturally. And so the side that needs to be nurtured in the month of June is your emotions, your feelings, your intuition, your heart. And it, you know, when you're an air sign, it takes a lot of extra work to tap into that. Just like if you're a water sign, it takes a lot of energy for water signs to tap into their logical. You know, we all have our challenges to, to balance our energies out. 
Um, so I feel like if you tap into this, you're really going to start manifesting that much faster because this is all about creation and imagination and creating what you desire. And you know, it's all about balance. So let's recap here what we have for the month of June, Aquarius. What you're desiring is your reward. You're ready for your reward and you've done the work. You're waiting. You've been waiting. You're like, is it ever going to come? Yes, it's going to come. It's going to come when you're not looking. It's going to come when you least expect it. And also other people are going to acknowledge it and recognize you. And it's going to probably come quickly because this is a fire sign. So it's going to kind of probably come out of left field or out of the blue. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, aha, there it is. As far as what you're identifying with or what you're valuing, we have the queen of swords. So this is definitely your energy. Um, you value this logic. You value this intellect. You value this confidence in the person that speaks their mind, that uh, knows how to use words, is rational, is logical, has a great, you know, can debate anyone, is knowledgeable. Um, but I also feel that for some of you, there's a rivalry going on. There's someone in the month of June that could be an air sign or that is just kind of like a mastermind. And there's a little competition between you or could be, could be female, could just be this type of energy where they have razor sharp words and they want to tug a war with you. They want, you know, it's like a power struggle going on for some of you. Okay. So the challenge is, is either this could be your energy or it could be like the rival's energy is the emperor. This is someone that's very stubborn. This is someone that is not changing anytime soon. They are stuck in their ways. They are totally not in tune with their emotions. Um, they, and they're literally, they have all day. So it's a power struggle that's not going to be won, basically. So if this is with someone else, my advice would be, you know, just accept that for what it is. If this is your energy, I would say that the universe is just saying to start nurturing other aspects of yourself, like your intellect and your mind and your rationality is already a gift. And the universe wants you to start nurturing your intuitive, your heart, your emotions. Maybe you're just kind of feeling beat up because of what you've been through. And so this month you can take time to really love yourself, be tender and compassionate with yourself to kind of work on the feminine side of yourself. You know, we have the male, the masculine and the feminine energies. So to really balance out the feminine. And then as far as the actions to take, we have the watchman. We have uh, the page of swords. So this is really about being an observer. And I feel that, you know, holding back restraint, not speaking unless it's very necessary and really just observing the people around you, really observing how they act, what they're doing. And that way, when you do speak, you know, you're just very calculated about what you say. You're also careful of who you tell and what you tell, um, because for some of you, there is going to be this rival energy around. There is going to be some competition. And so you don't want to give too much information away. And it's not that you're not a loving person. It's just, it's about being wise. It's about being wise who you share information with. And um, this is just kind of more holding back and holding in and, and calculating about what, what you're going to do before you do it. Really thinking before you act and observing, just watching. And then as far as the attitude to take, we have the seven of cups. And this is about imagination and creativity and childlike spirit and childlike faith and doing those things to nurture your feminine energy, because this is going to manifest all your dreams and intentions that, that much more quickly. So if you do that, Aquarius, we have the hermit. And this tells me that you're, I really feel like a lot of you are in this balancing mode right now. You're balancing your energies. Okay. And so what all this stuff, the whole purpose of these things that are happening to you is so that you can be the perfect manifestation of who you're supposed to be so that you can show your beauty in this world and be the person that God intended you to be. So for some of you, you're leading to this Zen place where you're going to be balanced. You're going to be, your skills are going to be honed. You're going to be peaceful in yourself and peaceful in the world. You're going to be a seeker and a, a holder of knowledge and truth. And you're really going to recharge your spiritual reservoir reservoirs. And I just, I really feel like you're going to gain the balance you need so that you can handle any situation, any person. Um, you're going to be able to fulfill your mission 
as a human being. And so for some of you, the month of June, you're going to want to retreat within yourself. You're going to want to go for solitude. You're going to want to go for meditation. You're going to do your spiritual work, meditation, affirmations, journaling, prayer, connecting with God and the universe. Um, that's where this is leading for you because, you know, you have so much to give to humanity. So a really interesting reading for you for the month of June, Aquarius. I really hope this has helped. If it has, I would so appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel. This is going to ensure you to get all the messages, tips, and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. So once again, Aquarius, I so much appreciate you and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.